Guys, right, how are we? Wasn't a bad strike, that one, to be honest. Great video here for you as we look at the inner workings of the body, the ankles, the legs. For you guys getting stuck, flipping, blocking, got some great information for you later on in the video. We're going to be taking a look at some slow motion clips and getting in there and having a look at that evidence-based material. A lot of the stuff that we have on worldclassgolf.com. Right, let's have a look at getting ourselves in a great position, the downswing. Really it is the, the moment of truth. People say it's an impact, but really that's too late. If your downswing's not in the right spot, then your impact won't be either. And we're going to be looking here at how we can get some feels and how we can get ourselves moving in the correct fashion. And I've got my fitness uh, handle things here and I've just got them under a weight on the ground. And this way, you know, we're learning up to 50% visually. Really, golf's very important that we can get in there and understand some of these movements by using certain drills. I'm going to show you how to do this with and without. But what we're going to be looking at doing is really drawing this right side back. Now your left knee, your left hip is actually going to go down. Don't forget that this right hip is up to 10 degrees and more high, that's the PGA average on the way back than the left. And you're going to be seeing this left knee and this left hip move downwards and this right side extending up. Now you can get, we've still got around 30 to 40 percent of the modern day tool professionals with this lead heel in the air and to get the sensation, it's not a bad idea with this drill, is just to lift the heel and you can feel that, that move, that symmetrical knee work, you know, that right leg straight and very powerful, something that we've seen with Bryson DeChambeau moving back to their old start of swing, perhaps like the, you know, the Nicholas and the Byron Nelson, um, that type of move with Ben Hogan and these Sam Snead and these great players, because most of us aren't that flexible. You know, let's be honest, and why not use that left heel and, and lift it up and get some better depth in your coil, in your pivot, getting that right shoulder back behind you and creating some structure to actually then grip the ground more effectively. Nothing moving over in this direction, the left hip too high, bringing the right hip too high and causing, even for advanced players, massive block shots and flip shots as we look at the move coming into the downswing. As we draw this right side up, we're going to be moving then slightly down. It's a slight movement down. We want this right hip to get 10 to 17 degrees underneath the left one at impact. We need that left hip. We need this right side to go down. We're going a little bit of bend and pressure into that lead leg. And then I can start to extend this side. Now we've got around four to six inches of lateral movement. That's the PGA average. Moving down, extending back up and getting ourselves, it just feels so strong, I've got some room there. If I turn to level, if I transition a little early, the right hips up, I get a little bit stuck here, and that is you know, really game over with huge flips, massive blocks, nasty stuff, and we want to get away from that. So there's going to be a tiny bit of movement down. You know, we're looking around, between you know, around three inches is around the two average anyway, but just for some of us out there, when you're drawing this right side back and moving, forwards that you can just sink down a little bit and that will give you some room to pass into this side. This right side with and without cables, right side back, moving forwards, extending back up, moving through the ball into a finished position. We have some arching in the back and this way when the head's dropped slightly we can get ourselves up into a beautiful finish and that's how we can create some freedom but also create some power. Now, a lot of the swings, the good looking swings, they look quite easy, but the ball is hit extremely hard through correct wrist alignments and angles and getting our pivot, the engine room, to move effectively. Let's now have a look at uh, some wonderful ball strikers, visually evidence-based material. Guys, check out worldclassgolf.com. We have a tremendous platform there. And if you're after online lessons, have a look at craighansongolf.com. We do actually have a, a wonderful deal with World Class Golf there with the members getting a half price lesson, teaching people from all around the world. Now let's have a look at uh, some wonderful ball strikers in slow motion, some evidence-based material. So guys, right, let's have a look at some of these awesome moves from some of the best ball strikers out there. Sneed, is this the best pivot of all time? It's got to be, doesn't it? Have a look at this shoulder plane and hip plane. You can almost get a feel. Have a look at that. 
get a feel of this drawing this right side back and that left knee moving forwards wonderful motion what a pivot have a look at the number here from the top we're looking at the shoulder plane here people 42 degrees if we get a line up through the shoulders and uh, on the right side here have a look at the leg work here from Cameron Champ have you ever get a chance if you're ever at a tournament and you want to see ball striking you've got to check this guy out you will not believe 41 degrees look at that right leg you just will not believe how good this guy can hit it how far he hits it it's it's unbelievable Justin Rose what a golf swing this guy I mean how good has this guy been over the years and um, such a rhythmical pure swing that right side that right leg drawing back wonderful pivot and uh, just a flushing machine isn't he he's just been in greens and up in the top greens leading greens in regulation and in the top 10 for so many years have a look at that first move we see that just that slight lowering look at that I mean how good is how's the timing how's the sequence on that one now we've had a lot of great players over the years talk about you know how the legs move and Greg Norman or how we pivot back drawing them right side back getting it to pivot properly Deschambeau really changing his swing a lot over the last 12 months so drawing that right side back and to get the power to get the depth of your pivot you know that left heel coming slightly off the ground and getting the right knee planes getting the legs to work in the correct fashion Hogan also lifting up the heel drawing the right side back Byron Nelson knee forwards right side back and it's getting more depth of pivot world-class golf instruction has over 700 detailed videos for every golfer practice programs and evidence-based material is applied to helping you to become your own coach and play your best golf and join us in the chat room and join the community of world-class golf instruction now the move from the top it's it really is an interesting one you know trying to understand the you know the lateral movement in the swing we've got tiger woods here adam scott just take a moment to have a look at this because it is interesting you know and on worldclassgolf.com we've, we've got a ranges of different series and videos and really i mean people to get better at your golf you've got to work on things that are proven and be consistent and we'll see the movement slight movement downwards here from adam scott it's a big lateral shift and they're not quite turning from the top with the legs are they we can see that that's a a bit of a slide across here, Tiger Woods here lowering down, we'll just make that a bit bigger and uh, quite a bit of movement forwards. Look at Adam Scott here as he moves down and as the lead shoulder starts to lift, you often see even with iron shots, you'll often see the head start to move even slightly backwards and getting this lead side extension. The closer you get to these positions, I mean I'm teaching all day and teaching lots of people and we're improving senior golfers as well, it's not just you don't have to obviously try and look like Adam Scott but it's all about improvement look how high that lead shoulder is and getting it through the ball and getting an arch some form of an arch or a curve in the small of your back people evidence-based material if you're looking for online lessons check out craighansengolf.com and have a look at world class golf uh, worldclassgolf.com uh, about a thousand videos separate series advanced players club golfers the whole lot you're going to really really enjoy the platform continuously releasing information into that guys thanks for watching i hope you really enjoyed the video a bit of an eye opener give you some information to work on uh, some of the some of the good things in the golf swing.